All right, guys, we got a little demo going on. My man, Ben Stark. Ben's hello to the team. Hi. Good. Ben brought in two young fitness models. This is Jesse Dietrich yes. and Jeff Bristol. They've been flown in simply just to, to do this. Now, what Ben just explained that I did not know, we did not know, two different bikes here. Take a look. You got the trainer down there, and where uh, Ben is is the pro bike. Now, these are two different bikes, right, Ben? This, that's correct, yeah. They're going to both have uh, different watt uh, capabilities. Uh, starting wattage on the Pro at 75 RPMs is about uh, 100 watts, plus or minus 10. Starting wattage on the trainer at 75 RPMs, you're going to want to be right around. Uh, you're going to be right around six on the load setting at 75 RPMs, and it will put out the same wattage as the Pro. So. Uh, Number one on the Pro and number six on the trainer have roughly the same wattage okay. at the same RPMs. So me message for you, Brittany, out there. You were calling Bristol out yesterday. Uh, Bristol was right. So you better be watching this, Brittany. Uh, that's right. The trainer is easier than that because like, she's like, Jeff, you're getting a little weak. So good job, Bristol. Why don't you come on in and take a look at the screen. I'm going to break down the polar view here. What you're looking at right now is a what you're going to see a lot of the time is you're going to see the figure eight and what what's happening here is there's a lot of pushing down and not a lot of pulling through so as you start to pull through at the bottom go ahead and pull through just pull through pull through at the bottom feel like you're swiping something off the bottom of your foot and as you do that you're going to start to engage the hamstrings a little bit more and you're going to start to see that turn into more of a peanut shape oh, yeah, hoping to eventually uh -huh. become a sausage looking object <laughs> so the better you get, the better your technique gets, the better this polar view will look. Does that include lifting your feet? Uh, it's just keep it going through at the bottom and just try to really, um, I guess, uh, get, get the, uh, be as efficient as you can with your stroke. It's awesome. Okay. So this right here is a simple, right, I'll, I'll go back out so everybody can see on here. This is all the data that you're going to see at the end of this, uh, the pedal technique right there is where we were so simply what we did I'll, I'll back out even more so everybody can see this is what you're gonna see when you push the on button on the display you're gonna see the just ride it'll it'll be highlighted immediately and is that what you would recommend most people that are gonna hop on you just want if they're part of a class yeah. you're gonna do it two three minutes most times you're gonna hit just ride make sure you're at you know uh, five six seven eight setting, right two three four whatever it is right. over here yep. And just okay. like understanding your heart rate, if, if you're not accustomed to monitoring your wattage, after a few sessions you'll start to become accustomed to it. Um, so getting on, doing just ride, it's always going to ask you for your, your weight. That's just to give you an uh, average kcal. Um, so you can put that in. Actually, you know what, I'll go right into that so everybody can see. We'll just leave it at zero. Now you just, uh, Ben just also updated the software that a new release came out yesterday so he's already got the latest software in here right here is where you can see the battery charging it's very important to keep your rpms above 70 which for most people shouldn't be too much of a challenge but by keeping your rpms above 70 you're going to be charging the battery and you won't need to plug it in so right here what you're seeing uh, is your polar view. The polar view is essentially the same graph that we're looking at on the pedal technique test or the pedal technique uh, uh, workout. And at the bottom of it you're seeing percentage. So it's fluctuating on the left side between 44 and 50 roughly and over here on the same side it's fluctuating between 50 and a little higher. It's a breakdown right leg, left leg. So if you have somebody who is uh, coming off of an injury on their left side, they may have a little bit lower power output on the left side than they would on the right side. So this is very good for, for rehabilitation and actually seeing what the person is able to do uh, coming off of an injury. So I'm gonna back, I'm gonna show you, there's, there's quite, a, quite a few different views here in the uh, Just Ride section. Take, take a look at it here, you got the, the cow, kick cows. Um, you, if you had the heart rate monitoring, you can see your heart rate, you can see your average heart rate over, over a period of time. You said it calibrates with polar heart rate. Polar heart rate, Ant Plus, and uh, Suto is also okay. here as well. No Garmin, no Under Armour. Just... Well, Garmin is, uh, I believe Garmin is Ant Plus. Okay. So it, right. should, it should pick that up, no problem. So so obviously back here, we're, we're back to, uh, to a, a poor cycling stroke. <laughs> just keep keep engaging your hammies. Yep, exactly. Start to see that 
This really better? teaches. Yeah, there you go. That looks great. So this really teaches it's people how to pedal properly. Yeah, you want to see that sausage? Let's go. See the sausage, baby. So let, let's back out of here. At the end, if you hit escape at the end of the session, you'll see everything. You'll see your splits, your revolutions. This right here, one through five, is your first five strokes. Okay, we can go on here forever, right? We can go all the way up as, as many as we've done already. We've probably done a couple hundred. I'm not going to bore you with that, but you can see all the the metrics there that go along with that power cadence, heart rate, and then you can take a look at the the general uh, synopsis of the ride there. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to take a look. We got link heart rate belts. That's where you're going to go to link your heart rate belt. If you have uh, a couple of people in the vicinity, it'll pick up all the heart rates. So when you do this, make sure you're by yourself, around yourself uh, yeah. only. You got your users, you can program a user into this. Uh, as many users as you can think of can probably fit inside of this display. Right. Pretty unlimited. Your settings, that's just more or less to change the units. Properties, uh, same sort of thing. The ant channel, uh, it's brand new. Like I told Todd, I'm still I'm still learning this myself. I literally just got this update. When did these come out? Uh, early, uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Been really? For a while. Yeah, in the UK. They were originally designed by British Cycling. Huh. As a more affordable bike for them to use, they were using roughly a thirty thousand dollar bike. Did Woodway just purchase them? No, we didn't. We're, we're uh, the distributor for the uh, for the United States. That's interesting. So, yeah. Um, when British Cycling brought a uh, quick anecdote, when British Cycling uh, came to to this group to yeah. to design the bike, they wanted something that was uh, felt like a road bike was accurate, repli replicable with uh, as far as the data is concerned, and accurate. So. All of the data is within 2% margin of error above 60 watts. So the higher the wattage goes, the more accurate they get. So, I mean, cool. Uh, and it, it takes, it pulls data at 100 times per second, which is exactly why you're able to see the polar view on here. It's all, it's all factory calibrated, so it's not gonna be something that you're gonna have to calibrate. Yeah. Here you can go and you can recall a session, take a look at an old workout. So you can go scroll through all the old workouts that you had here, just hit enter, take a look. Yep. Again, go through all the revolutions. Wow. Uh, and then up here is the workout test. So maybe we should just try that that uh, six second peak power test again, because that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's try one more time. Yeah, okay. we need to do one on Jeff too, so we right, get a higher power. Right. I'm interested to see which one of these young cats has got more power. Yeah. So you got yeah. hockey? Where's wrestling right oh, here? Are you, are you, are you hockey or? I like hockey. Hey, I'm a wrestler on hockey skates. All right, I was gonna say if you were if you were a hockey player, if you were a hockey player, he's a wrestler. He's a wrestler. If you wore hockey, hockey skates, you'd be trying to just one leg take down. How good is that? So both of them have the basics. When I tell someone if I'm getting somebody up on a seat. Is this where I should be, like, as far as how far my feet should be standing at the bottom of the pit? Like, even I would yeah. say, when you're standing there, it should be a Is that a correct guy? I got them saying it. Right, 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 right around the bottom of the top of the and then as far as the handlebars compared to where your seat is, where do you want to be as far as where you want to be? It's comfortable. So if it's more comfortable higher up. Yeah, like like for cyclists, some cyclists so don't, even, don't want to get in that aero position, right? Yeah. So here, let me let me just show you this. Pull, pull back up. Take put get get good posture, put your hands down the high here, and then move right wherever you feel comfortable. No, no, sure. keep that position, move your hands away. So what you want to do, you want to, you want to do, you want to, you want to, you want to, to get comfortable, right? I mean, you, you guys are expert cyclists, so a little higher, a little lower. Throughout the day, good point for Pat Jack. Pat Jack is an expert. Yeah. 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 So let's do. We'll do a really quick peak power. Peak power. Peak test. power. So come on over and take a look. Hot heat. Worst peak wrestling. Peak it's peak on. Power. It's on. Okay. I mean, right, so what, would it, what would it be without a competition? <laughs> All right, so what do we do for you? Were we, we were six, six, uh, uh, six eight, 800 maybe. Pretty low. I, it was like eight. Oh, pretty oh, low. Here comes ben. Pretty low. So here we go. What do you do, Ben? <laughs> what do I do? I'm not that way. Oh, I, I've, I've probably been up around 14, 15 minutes. Like that. Nothing Dang. crazy. Actually, no, I've probably been lower than that. Probably 1,200. 14, 1,500? Uh, so workout test. We're going to go and we're going to do uh, a test right here. You know, just a peak power test. It's again, it's gonna ask for your, your yeah, weight. Yeah. Okay. But we're just on, gonna Jeff. go and ready. It's gonna count down. It's gonna start at six. Yeah. Ready? Go. Come on, Jeff. Come on, 
so you can see the data. What does that say? To show you RPMs. 39 watts, 154 RPMs. Right. So again, we can kind of play with the damper here just yeah. to see. What medium you're saying? Yeah. Okay. I, I had you right around three on the on the. Pack. All right. Well, 1039. Let's see if the hockey boys got anything better than that. All right. Let's. Ah, that's brilliant. Let's go in here. We're gonna do. Todd, you wanna you wanna drive this machine here and see how I'll kind of guide you through it. Just gonna hit enter. Right, we're gonna well, go over to uh, workout test. Workout test. Gonna hit enter. Go back over to uh, go over and then down the test. Perfect. There you go. What are the other ones? What are the other ones? Yeah. This is a 30 minute test right here. This is going to be your submax ramp. What's a submax ramp? Submax ramp is just, uh, you're not going to failure. First is the max ramp, then you go to failure. Oh, so the, po the power peak yeah. six second, that's kind of the. That's kind of the. Yeah, yeah. right? Good. 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 Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's a good knock. Let's get for a break. Yep. This is going to be better. You can put it if you wanted to. It's up here right away. Yeah. Ready? Ready. 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 For me, it should be Mario Lemieux. 1143. Yes. <laughs> I'm showing my age. So, you, my, let's get the data just for the record. Let's bring the, bring, bring the data. 1143. Looks like those hockey players oh, might have just take it to the wrestlers. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. All day. Hey, three periods long. Let's go. Yes, three periods. <laughs> So the other thing is we've got two different sets of resistance on here. You've got your damper. Uh, that's very similar to the concept too. Uh, it's identical. In fact, uh, Watt Bike was uh, one of the largest, in fact, I think they were the largest importer of Concept 2 rowers in the UK. Oh. So they took that, uh, they took that same uh, technology that, and they, they adapted it to, to the bike itself. This is your secondary resistance. So when you max out here, when you've hit, hit 10, you want to come on over, you can then... Hey, can you mention that today cool. in the class? Yeah. Where we'll give it, say, hey, I mean, there's the basic stuff, but they need to know, because they keep asking questions, what's the difference between the two? Yeah. When you say max out the damper yeah. before changing that, right. Yeah. And the difference between the two bikes. Yeah. For sure. I didn't know. Yeah. So, and then the other thing that we have here... Uh-oh. This is nice. This is nice right here. Now, can they compete again on this? Yeah. Yeah. At the same time. So what we'll do is, um, I'm going to get the, uh, I'm going to go back. So watch like, uh, there's two different pieces of uh, free software on their website. The uh, power cycling, which is more for group training, and then the expert cycling, and that's more for your elite cyclists breaking down their, their, uh, their pedals or their, their bike sessions. Uh, in this case, we're going to go simply go do. Uh, we're going to go do the group the group session. I'm going to set them up. So in order for us to do this, we're going to take this flash drive, and what are we going to put it into? You have to put it into a TV. You can't put it into an iPad, a, a laptop, or no? No, I'll tell you. Yeah, you can put it into a laptop. Yeah, yeah anything with the, you. Uh, an iPad. Doesn't, it doesn't have a flash drive. Uh, Right, right. Yeah, with the with the stack. So if I had the stick in here, this USB stick plugged in, we'd be able to connect both bikes and get the same data here, just split screen. What you're seeing here is the polar view with the cadence and the heart rate. What I'll do is, a lot of times you're going to be looking at, yes, you'll look at heart rate as well, but what we also can do is we can go in and we look at, um, we look at power over heart rate. So this is another one that you might want to do, a nice correlation there, while also monitoring the pedal stroke. You cannot get, uh, you cannot get the polar view on this on the USB stick right now, just because of the transmission of data. Um, again, this is coming across at 100 times per second, so this just can't take in that much data at that one time. So what we're doing, we got all kinds of different views on here. Go across. We've even got some graphical views here. You can take a look. Yeah. Different zones. We've got. Um, multiple zones that we can program in. We've got cadence, power, heart rate, speed, distance. Again, getting back into the multiple zones. This is more of a dashboard view. I mean, you, this it, sky's really, you know, sky's the limit on this as far as 
Left leg, right leg, power balance, your power, your heart rate, cadence. It's got a bunch, quite a few different uh, different options here. Um, so this is the power cycling software. That's a wrap from Fitness Quest 10. My man Ben came all the way in uh, just for us so you could watch this. I know you're heading up to LA right now, right? Yeah, heading up. Yep. Ben, where's home for you? Home is uh, Northern California and uh, Wisconsin is put my time back exactly. and forth. Home office. And Try between December and March to come out here yeah, more than Wisconsin, split right? Season. So, uh, thank you for coming out here and, and doing all this. Uh, guys, the, the biggest thing is Ben said you can't mess up. So get on here and experiment, practice a little bit with the different uh, programs. There's a lot of them. Uh, today we have the six second test, we love that. Obviously the just ride for all of our clients in classes is great for that degree. The pedal technique uh, as well. Anything else that you wanted to uh, No, wrap I just want to say thanks a lot to Fitness Quest 10 for inviting me here today, for giving us a uh, shot with the bikes, and uh, to you, Todd. Thanks a lot. Brother, always great to see you at the shows and everywhere else. So that's a wrap, guys. Peace. Why bike it out?